If you'd like to get rid of the recycle bin on your desktop, it used to be where you could just right click on your taskbar, just go into taskbar settings and remove it. But unfortunately, Microsoft removed that from both clients and servers. So if you want to get rid of it, you have to go into your domain controller or go into your local security policy if you don't have a domain controller or it's just a computer that's not a member of a domain. Either way, and we can go in and remove that just by making a few clicks. So I'm going to go into my group policy management. And you can do this on the default domain policy, or you can go ahead and create a new one. I always like to create a new policy so that way you know what that policy has. So I'm going to create a new group policy object. I'll call it block recycle bin, and I'm going to have it apply to everybody. So then I'm going to right click on it and choose edit. And by the way, this is a good lesson, not just for blocking the recycle bin, but if you want to do anything using group policy, so when a client logs in, they either see or don't see something, then you can use these group policies for that purpose. So you can either apply things to the computer or the user. If it's the user, then it's any uh, computer that the user logs into. If it's the computer, then it's any user that logs into that particular computer. In this case, it's going to be under user configuration and administrative templates. And then you're going to go up to the top where it says desktop. So I'm going to double click on desktop and you see a lot of different things that you can remove from a user's desktop when they log into a client computer. In my case, I want to hide the recycle bin. So all I have to do is go to where it says remove recycle bin from desktop. And then when I double click on it, I can just choose enabled and click OK and now that's going to be removed when a user logs into their computer. Now, in this case, it's also going to remove it from the servers, domain controllers, all that kind of thing, because I put it at the top level of my domain, as you see here. That means it's going to affect everyone unless they have a block policy. Now, you can do the same thing if you just go to local group policy, and you'll see a similar type of a setting. So I'll go ahead and edit that local group policy. And this only affects users that log directly into whatever computer you're on. So once again, you're going to go into the user settings. This is just going to affect any user that logs in, administrative templates, desktop, and you're going to remove the recycle bin or whatever else it is that you'd like. So that's if you want to do it on a workstation or a server. If you want it to affect everybody, then you do the group policy way that I just showed you. So that is how you hide or remove your recycle bin in your computers and in your domain using Windows Server 2022 as well as any client computer.